Okay, so we are going to uh, configure our partition for our board config.make file. And remember, we did a lot of work looking at uh, different partitions earlier. And in here, what we see is a list of partition sizes. And you probably recall that we, on the SD card, save all these uh, partition sizes. So here we got boot size and byte. We're going to copy that, <clears throat> paste it in. Notice it would happen to be exactly the same in this case. Um, <clears throat> but we do want to make sure that we're you know, getting the right information because this is really critical. So we're going to copy that recovery size. We're going to put that in there. Then next is the system image. So we can open system size bytes. We'll copy that. And we will put that in there. Notice that one was different. So it's definitely good to make sure you copy and paste these in. Make sure there's no error in, uh, in that. We'll grab the user data. And where's my file? user data right there. We'll paste that in. Uh, then we have cache image and persistent image. And we didn't save one for those ones. So we'll have to just jump in the phone and grab that real quick. Let's see. Persistent, persistent size. Um, the flash block size, notice that's the kernel page size times 64. So 131072, let's grab our calculator, uh, type calc here, we'll grab our calculator, and we have, we know our page size is 2048, right, 2048 times 64 equals 131072, uh, which we also had saved that information elsewhere, but just some quick math that we can do to make sure that we got the right, right thing. Um, Let's open uh, Blue Phone. Uh, or you make boot image. And there's, we can see, you know, our page size just in case we needed to uh, double check our work there on that. But uh, so we still need to get that cache image partition and that persist image partition size. So we can throw those in there. So let's uh, let's just ADB shell into the phone. And that way we can uh, take a look directly. So let's look for our devices. And it's not showing up. Hold on, let me uh, change the settings here. Sometimes with VirtualBox, it actually gets grabbed by the host machine instead of the virtual machine or vice versa. So there we go. We add the Blue Life 1X here. It's going to show up. There it is. All right. Let's try this again. There we go. All right. So we haven't been in recovery at the moment, but that's, that's fine. <clears throat> so remember that we can go to our device, block, um, boot, device by name, and here we are. So we've got all of our all of our ones here, and we are looking for, let's stretch this out and do that again so it looks right. So we want to know the cache, which is dev block um, MMC BLK 0 partition 25. We're going to kind of copy that there, and we're going to use um, our uh, command here. What was that command? Um, block dev. And get size 64, because that's going to tell us the size and byte of partition 25. And so there we see our numbers. So we're going to take that number. And we're going to delete this old number and paste that in there. And then we need to find the persistent image partition size. So let's look through here. 
and we see persist uh, somewhere in here. There we go. And it's partition 26. So we can just grab that and we'll copy that and we'll paste that into our block. So there we go. Now we've set up our partition. Of course, we want to remove our to-do. So we know that that's good. And uh, we need to update that, <coughs> push that information to our uh, our Git lab. And then we'll uh, be able to go back and go over more of this stuff.